Yes, sir. Yes, Thanks sir. for playing on better. My pleasure. Um, last time in uh, Eindhoven, I was at your concert, you yes. uh, said something about drumming on the guitar and yes. get different rhythms with the left and right hand. So yes. you said, uh, uh, for example, play four notes with the left hand and three with the right. Well, I tried it, but I got messed up. It's so the other way around. Maybe. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can tell us how to achieve Okay. <laughs> Okay, if it's important to you, but you're a guitar player, it's up to you. If you want me to show you, I will be happy to show you. Basically, when I, when I play the drum solo, um, I'm thinking in 4-4. Four, four. It's only in 4-4. Four, four. But what's going on is, um, so uh, here is the 4. I play three with this hand, so it's like this one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Right? You just add extra notes. It's, it's drummers things that I learned. I stole from as many drummers as I possibly could and just put, the, put it on, on the guitar. So I'm thinking, I broke it down into four with my right hand, three with my left hand, so you'd understand that that was two separate things. But I'm not thinking about two separate times. I'm only thinking in four, four, because I'm a man of little brain. <laughs> like Winnie the Pooh. So, if I slow it down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And somehow they magically fit together, you know? And, and I learned that from listening to, to, to drummers, right? So then I just put different patterns on it. And, and, and because I have the microphone inside here, I, you know, I can... Adds another no, yeah. and <laughs> all that stuff. But all that, all this stuff is just things that I've learned along the way. But I do it in my show for one reason: in the name of entertainment. I'm entertaining you. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. When I, when I, I was taught, when I was very young, when you go to the stage. You're there to entertain people, you know? There are some people who are good enough players to not even consider the entertainment side of doing it, that they just sit and play, and they are that good that we are totally entertained out of our minds by their great playing. I don't know many of them, but there are some. But the rest of us, the rest of us mere mortals, it's our job to entertain the audience. When people pay money and they want to sit and watch a show, it's our job and our obligation when we go to the stage to give those people everything that we can. I will use any and every uh, thing that, that is at my disposal to entertain you when I walk on stage. I'm still honest about it. I still play music that I love and that I feel from my heart. But at the same time, I'm not too proud to bang my head on the microphone if it makes you laugh <laughs> at a time when you don't expect it. And I love to make people smile and laugh, and that's why we're up here. We're up here on stage to entertain people, okay? And the funny thing is, is that I've never ever thought about 
impressing musicians when I walk on the stage. Some people say, oh, there are every great guitar player in town at your concert tonight. And I always say, well, great, I hope they have fun. You know, I, I'm not here to impress them. I don't want to care about that. I'm here to entertain people. And, and that's why people who are jazz buffs, people who say, well, I'm into jazz, blah, 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 your show is much too entertaining. That's what they say to me. <laughs> much too entertaining. <laughs> I feel sad for them. <laughs> How can you be much too entertaining? Impossible. Anyway. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I hope that answers your, your drumming question. Yeah, brother? I see there are many, many concerts of people. Always, also here, people have a big smile on mm. face when they look at you. Oh, good. Good. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, well, I'm in the happiness business. That's, <laughs> when I play, people get happy. I got a good job. And you can all have the same job if you want. You, know, you just got to have the desire in your heart to, to do that, you know. Um, and in my shows, I try to give people a feeling uh, that they can trust what's going on on stage, that people are not worried that uh, I, will, I will make a mistake or they are not worried that I, will, I can't play this song or that, you know, when I walk on the stage, you should have a feeling of, okay, now we can relax and just have a good time. That's, that's the feeling that you should get from a, a, a proper uh, artist and a proper entertainer should make you feel that, 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 that way. You know, and um, it takes a long time to learn all that stuff, and you realize that it's stagecraft. It's a, it's something that you you learn um, a self assurance, but a a, a confidence in um, uh, what you do, and that confidence doesn't necessarily happen overnight. You know, the reason why I have a confidence in what I do when I walk on the stage is because I've worked hard at it. And I'm sure that if I play a certain song, that you will like it. I'm very sure. And it's not, it's not ego. It's, it's just confidence through work. It's through work. That's really what it's about. And uh, so, um, you know, some of us go to the stage unprepared, and then we get nervous out there, and we blow our chance. And that's a shame. The first time I saw you was in the Inghazi, small round tower. Yeah, I remember that. And it, I said, it's very nice. I, I'm going to try it. And then I find out how hard it is. <laughs> Good. Good. I remember that night because uh, my friend Tone had had a stroke. And he came to the show that night. You remember Tone had yes. a stroke that yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. And it was a shock to see him. But now he looks 20 years younger. Yeah. <laughs> He See, does. because he plays his guitar every day, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? 